Hello, this is one of the most important lecture of this course. So here what we learn is we learn how to use coding to create an Excel sheet. Also, after you create an Excel sheet, how to code and then perform the analysis. So basically we'll use coding to create Excel sheet. We'll also use coding to use a Excel sheet to generate the plots and do various analysis. So for our work, we will be using Python. It is a free and very easy to use programming language. So without wasting our time, let's jump into it. Okay, so here I have a piece of code. So uh, don't get confused. This is very simple. We are just importing few uh, groups that is XLS writer and numpy the packages which is used to run the program. So here we are writing XLX writer workbook. So basically we are creating the actual sheet with this command and then we ran two loops. So here what you will do is for a particular row it will change the value of columns and it will print loop one in the second loop it will print loop two where the number of column is changed and then the workbook is closed in this simple code we will be able to generate a actual sheet i'll just show you the folder so this is my folder okay this is the try dot py program which is placed in desktop excel so this is the file now if i run this code you see what happens after i run try.py a excel sheet file is created why because i have an excel sheet named here if i open this file you will see that the output is you have eight loops on uh, horizontally and eight loops vertically because we have written in the code to print loop one and loop two in the particular position let's say i want to print something here in the middle or through the diagonal so what we can do is we can write x comma x we can just erase this and here we can write please rate my course five star and then i can press run before pressing on run let me close this actual sheet okay so this is complete now if i go back and open the actual sheet you will see that all my text are aligned diagonally why because this is x comma x so if column is one row is one if column is two row is two and so on so these are basically uh, the diagonally placed so this is a very powerful tool to create actual sheet using coding so this is a very simple code depending on the type of analysis you are doing you will have different loops different programs uh, addition subtraction and so on now the second part for the second part i have a plot xlx file let me open this this is nothing this is just the first column is just a dummy numbers second i have a temperature and these are the different values for different uh, data okay so this will act like an x-axis and these are the y values so let me plot this one by one if i plot i'll have a straight line um we can do this later so what we'll do is we'll go to plot.py program so plot.py is this program here what we are doing is we already have an excel sheet we are calling the sheet 
to the Python program. We are converting it into a matrix and then we are reading the data. So temperature is equal to all the number which are placed in the first row. Okay, so what is the first row? Uh, if we consider this to be zero, then this is, is the first. Okay, so sorry, column. So if this is the first, um, the zeroth column, this is the first column. It works something like this. And then what is done is x is ran from 1 to 4 and then each of the y value is taken and then it will plot in the last plot is this is slightly advanced so for the y value they have done some analysis by taking the two data of the actual sheet and then calculating in a form of a formula okay so let's see what will happen if i run this code when i run this you see i got few plots so what are the plots let me open the data and I think it will be clear. So the first plot is temperature versus C. It is a straight line. Okay. Now if you see C is 4. The whole C is 4. Here you can see in the Python code that we have a straight line at y equal to 4. So this is indeed the plot of C. Second D. D is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So d is gradually increasing till uh, 34 okay so if you see the plot of d you see it is running from 0 to 34 and similarly e it will go down uh, for f f is 3 as you can see here and the last plot is a complicated uh, formulation of two different columns and this is plotted as this so this is one of the most simplest program uh, to understand how to connect Excel with Python and plot and do analysis for some basic calculations. I hope that you have gained some knowledge in this particular lecture and um, uh, depending on the type of project you are doing, this will be very powerful and very helpful for your work. Thank you for watching if you gained something informative in this course do rate my course it really helped me to keep motivated and create more thank you for watching and take care